Yo, what is going on you guys? Crypto Chemist here back again with another video for you and this one is an exciting one. We have Heidi on the channel. Heidi Yu, the CEO of Boost Insider. So there you go. It's all there <laughs> on the board. She has the board ready for us. So how's it going, Heidi? How are you? What is going on? I know there's a lot of events coming up. There's some big, big things happening in San Fran. So go yeah. ahead. Let's ready get, in, get into it. And how are you doing? Good, good. Hi, 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 uh, everybody. I'm yeah. good. How are you guys? Perfect, perfect. You, we're really like the channel. I haven't brought you guys t to the channel yet. So this is kind of like an introduction thing. So we really want to know kind of about the story behind the organization. Being a CEO of such a big organization like Boost Insider, that's huge. <laughs> so how did it all start? Where does the vision go? How is it going on with all this madness in crypto as well? Yeah. Okay, sure. So my name is Heidi. I don't have a D, so that's my smiley face for today. <laughs> <laughs> nice weekend, beautiful uh, weather here in San Francisco. Uh, Boost Insider is a venture-backed company. We started with AI and big data. So we have a application called Social Book, which is a search engine for influencers such as you. Oh, by the way, I also have a channel called Crypto Heidi. Oh, so that's it's so. A <laughs> so guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button on Crypto Heidi. The link will be in the description for that. So make sure you <laughs> yeah, hit that yeah. subscribe button. It will just start it. But however, uh, Social Book is a place mm -hmm. where people search YouTubers and Instagrammers. Uh, so that was that. That's Boost Insider, and now the blockchain projects called Boosto. So what is Boosto? Mm -hmm. So Boosto is a decentralized DApp store. It's a DApp store for creators. That's amazing because I know there's a lot of competition out there when it comes to marketing, when it comes to digital marketing, when it comes to any kind of project in cryptocurrency right now we see icos coming out every single day we see companies popping up online every single day how do you guys defer yourself from the competition how do you guys get past that barriers and take over the marketing game basically and stay on top yeah definitely i think the successful of a project need to have three components one is technology uh -huh. second is funding the third one is community. So like a lot of companies, they do ICO or they do private runs mm -hmm. of their fun funds. Uh, a lot of people have no problem earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And now it's getting challenged. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, we, become, we, it's become a huge challenge. And, and yeah. especially with the crypto market right now and the bear market that we're seeing, the prices that we're seeing, a lot of people are backing out. A lot of people are mm -hmm. scared. And so it's it's a lot of barriers that you got to get past, but you guys are doing a very good job. And I want to know more about how you're getting to the places that you are. Yeah, sure, sure. Also, uh, we talk about funding. So we did have some funding, so that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Uh, second part is uh, technology. So yeah. technology usually when talk about blockchain space, usually people talk about public chain, mm -hmm. people talk about the dApps and people talk about protocol. So our thing, Gusto, is a protocol between the public chain and DApps. Yep. So that's our technology-ish stuff. And also the community. So when we talk about community, that have to be um, people talk about you, people drive traffic to you and everything, right? So when we talk about community, that's our influencer community, like you and me. Mm -hmm. And so many people out there, we create content, we tell people what is blockchain what right. is crypto what right. is that what is protocol so that's three components big time and i think i've said this many many times before and i continue to say it on the channel and the subscribers have heard it many many times that guys community is a huge part of crypto it's huge yep. we've seen uh, you know projects with telegram channels of about 50,000 60,000 people and it's just crazy people are going crazy in there there's admins everywhere that's what you want to see. That's when you know there's an excitement about, about the project. And once the project comes out, then you see a lot of volume. You see a lot of hype. And all of that really matters. So definitely, you guys are doing a very, very good job with the results that you have driven, <laughs> you know, back yeah. to your community and overall. Yeah. So it's very amazing. But what I want to know is what, what has gone wrong so far and how did you guys deal with it? Because I know there's a lot of problems that come up when you come out with a new project, this, that. Now, mm -hmm. what's been the biggest thing that you really had to overcome and get past sure it. sure so earlier like this year definitely there will be a lot of distractions 
for technology companies, such as you know, like before when the uh, when technology companies they only focus on their product.、Mm -hmm. But however, the blockchain community、uh, projects will become like, okay, here's the product and here's the community, and there's a price of their crypto. Right. <laughs> so, right. So however, right now it's a bear market. Right now, maybe it's harder for a lot of people. Yes. But we will say like it will be like turn those technology people、mm -hmm. back focus. Uh, making their product instead of like distract so much away,、yeah. just because the market is there. So that's 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 cool. It's、mm -hmm. good and challenging. And also the second challenging part will be think about that. Out of hundred people, how many people know crypto? Are you comfortable with crypto?、Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Just ask random people on the street. Do they know crypto? Do they know blockchain? Or do they some common words with Probably, Bitcoin? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably not many. You know, for the average Joe, you、mm -hmm. really have to get in there and you really have to showcase what you guys are doing, where crypto plays a big role in it, and how that's even going to reflect in the crypto market, where it's going to be. So for people to invest, they got to know more. They got to be educated more. And and the one thing that I do like is the YouTubers getting out there and bringing out projects like you guys to the channels, because a lot of people are on YouTube these days, and a lot of people are researching crypto. And this、mm -hmm. is the biggest gateway to be able to reach、sure. them. I, but you know, your project, I've seen it a lot of places, and you guys have actually as seen section on the website where it shows Yahoo, Forbes, some of the biggest biggest guys in the industry, in the news industry, not even just crypto. And I want to know how did you guys get out there? How did you guys get out there so hard to be on all of these social media outlets? So, sure, sure. So quickly. Yeah, definitely. There will be improved efforts that like you are interviewing me right now,、mm -hmm. and we talk about this. So think about that.、Uh, like ten years ago, when internet was kind of like getting out there,、mm -hmm. how many people really understand what is internet, right?、Mm -hmm. And I think really for consumers, technology. Is not have to understand, but however, if you are open to try different things,、yeah. and also end of the day, technology can really change people's lives. Absolutely. So that's the most important parts. So I, I mean, really, consumers, we don't need to know how to write in codes,、no. how to do those type of things, right? Don't need to know. But developers, of every people out there, we just make everything easier for people、yeah. to use. They don't, they don't need to understand what's behind no. that. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Yeah, end of the day, it's just like oh, it's easy, it's quick, and、exactly. it's、uh, secured. So that's something really important. So that brings into the Boosto、uh, concept. So like,、uh, do you do you use iPhone or do you use Android?、Phone? I use an iPhone. I've always used an iPhone. I've always been an Apple guy. Always used Apple products. But when it comes to computers, I do like to stick to my PCs. I feel like being、uh -huh. being able to upgrade your PC and being able to put in those GPUs, especially for something like mining and crypto, which、mm -hmm. has become such a huge huge thing. You can't really be mining on you know Apple products right now. <laughs> you could. But it's, but I would like to have my GPU in there, be able to upgrade it, and be、sure. able to have a faster mining rig.、Uh, so, but I do use iPhone when it comes to Apple. I've always stick to iPhone. So, what are you guys doing to integrate、yeah. with all that? Yeah. So iPhone. So consumers now we bring talk about consumer level. So、mm -hmm. when people use iPhone, we download apps from、mm -hmm. iOS store.、Right? Yeah. When people use Android phone, people download apps. From the Google Play, exactly. But we didn't know really those centralized app store. They take thirty percent of the revenue that we supposed to pay developers who build that store. Wow. So which means if we're paying a hundred dollars, so developers really they only get seventy dollars out of it. Thirty、yeah, will go to. I did to, not even know that. So that's nobody knows. That's so like Boosto, so we take. Takes the middleman away, which means we don't. It's it's an Apple. It's、uh, it's not Apple Store. It's a competitor of、uh, iOS Store and、right. Google Play. Right. We don't、right. take cuts. And you're not taking those cuts. So the full, 100 percent is going. We'll go to develop. There you go. There you go,、yeah. guys. So if you are a developer, which there's a lot of people out there too, trying to get onto the App Store, trying to get on Google Play Store, and get their product out there. So here it is, Boosto. Uh, yeah, it's not, really hard. <laughs> it's very, very hard. It's very difficult. It's a very competitive field, but、sure. there's new projects like Boosto coming out that、yeah. do give you that opportunity to, you know, come out of the woodworks and be yeah, one of、yeah. those popular guys out there. This is exciting. Yeah. Also think about that. So not only、uh, there's five millions of apps out there, everybody's competitor、mm -hmm. of each other to be on the store.、Mm -hmm. 
Apple Store takes thirty percent of the cuts, and also building a iOS app is harder. But now, Boosto we have a protocol to help developers to build the DApps. Much faster.、Mm-hmm. Also, we have people like Heidi, so many content creators.、Yep. If we like the DApps, we make the, we grab the DApps, different components. So the concept is like that.、Exactly. So developers they don't need to build the whole thing; they build different components. And as creator, you and me, we grab different parts and、mm-hmm. we make our own. But our DApp have different components from different compa-、uh, different developers.、Mm-hmm. So that's the concept of Boosto. That's、so、amazing. So developers build different type of DApps components. And creators or anybody, we can go there to grab the different components of DApps to make our、over. own, and also、wow. Boosto don't take cut. Man, that is amazing. That's that's some crazy technology. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where did this idea come from? Who in、yeah. the company came up with this idea? For this thing, or if it was just a team of you guys, how did it create into what it is now? Sure, sure. So definitely, we're from San Francisco. We're a bunch of like techie, techie, big time, big time. Bay Area is right there. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah, we always want to shorten our development time. We、uh, want to spend less, and if, if especially for startups、yep. and indie developers, we don't have that type of budget to get on top of Apple Store. So、mm-hmm. that's the pain point of that part. Also, for creators like you and me, we have our own channel, and if we're not that big as PewDiePie or as like other bigger guys、mm-hmm. out there,、mm-hmm. we don't really get paid very well from no, YouTube or、no. from Instagram. Right? It's harder. And、it's very hard.、Fun. It's very and people and people get the、uh, you know people think that it's easy to get、oh. out there and become this huge huge、really、influencer、bad. and make <laughs> lots of money, guys. It is not easy out there. It's very very competitive, and you know to get out there you have to really work hard. And hard. what's what's very、um, interesting to me is you working so hard and getting up there, becoming a CEO of a company like this. So I really want to know more about your story. What was you know. That whole process, like, what's some of the experience that you went through to get to where you are now, and what is it like being a CEO of a company? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of questions.、Um, we'll yeah, go so, through each one of them one by one. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about talk about how creators make money. So、yeah. I I have my channel,、yeah. and now so、um, I make contents, and I know a lot of people like me make、mm-hmm. contents. But one is harder to get paid from YouTube. Second is, of course,、uh, our followers don't. Don't like us to have those so much sponsored posts,、mm-hmm. right? Those are too like spammy.、Absolutely. We don't want、Absolutely. spammy our followers. We just want good contents. But however, we have traffic. So how to make that traffic useful? Also, we can make some money out of that.、Mm-hmm. Is really that's the concept between about to become this. Like as you and me, we made a lot of people out there content creators. We're not developers.、Mm-hmm. We don't know how to develop apps, and we don't have money to hire people to develop、for、the、us. apps we like for yeah. us. Yeah. So here. Developers, they have already have different components. We go there, we grab that, make our own. So our、mm-hmm. followers like to use that DApps more, and we have a better engagement with those people, with our fans. And plus, we can get paid, which that pay is supposed to go to Apple Store, supposed、mm-hmm. to go to Google Play. Then developers will share some with us. That's a easy, much easier to us to make our life easier.、Um, this is the concept of content creator. Content creators, DApp Store, that Boosto provides bringing the all together. And to answer your question, how to be the CEO? Oh my God, <laughs> I、yeah. can talk about this one forever. Especially the female CEO. That's wow, even that's interesting. That's、harder. amazing. Yeah, I bet it's a very, very difficult job. But you are doing a very, very good job. It looks、Thank、like the、you. projects are coming right down, and they're getting to work. And I really want to know more about it. Definitely, go right ahead. Oh, <laughs> okay. Are you talking about just talking my project about, or just in general? In, in general, you know how what what was kind of what you were doing before here, how you、oh, got、oh. here, and 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 how is it being the CEO right now of such a huge <laughs> company and running such a big company? Okay, so like、uh, how I get started. So actually,、mm-hmm. this is my second startup. I already have one before.、Awesome. It was an e-commerce,、mm-hmm. and I was working with a lot of content creators before、mm-hmm. to sell my gadgets of. Uh, and so I'm always like with iPhone. So we were selling iPhone gadgets.、Mm-hmm. That, that that means the phone cases, the chargers, so all that. All of that. So I was working with a lot of content creators. They got my stuff. They share with their followers. Right. And I paid them. Right. That was the, that of was course. Because because、yeah. when you're in that business, especially with e-commerce, because I know a lot. Of people that are in the com- crypto community have had a lot of experience with e-commerce. It's just、mm-hmm. huge. The whole Amazon FBA, the whole eBay seller, it all ties in together. 
and it's difficult and you definitely need a lot of marketing. Marketing is a huge one. I know people are using Facebook ads, people are using Google AdSense, but you gotta get out there, you gotta pay creators, you gotta send things out to YouTubers. <laughs> it's a grind and it's hard, and but it does teach you a lot. So I'm pretty sure you probably learned a lot by being <laughs> that supplier, demand, all of that yeah. tying it together. So. Oh yeah, you know my pain, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. And plus content creators, everybody's different. And you know, as a brand, it's easier to buy Google ads and buy Facebook ads. Those are ads, those mm -hmm. are technology. Mm -hmm. But you and me, we're people, we're persons. Exactly. Right? Those relationships. If, yeah, if we build people one by one, it's really hard. But end of the day, if something can do this automatic, you, I, if I'm a brand, you are the content creator, I don't even have to talk with you anymore. I just build the stuff which you might like or you might not like, mm -hmm. and you might like the components of it. You grab it, you use it, and we share revenue. And you so, never talk with me, I don't ever talk with you. That's the concept of this. Very, very true. That's, And that's really just pushing that technology, those building relationships, networking to the next level, which is yeah. become the most huge thing right now in the industry of actually being to being able to be successful in selling anything online or doing anything sure. online. So guys, networking, huge, huge one out there. And talking about networking, I know you guys have some big partnerships. Oh, I was doing yeah. some research on the company and I saw some news stories in the in the past as well. Some partnerships with IGG, some huge things that you guys have done in the past as well. So uh, why don't you go ahead and tell me a little bit about the partnerships that you guys have mm -hmm. had and what you guys are looking to do in the future? Sure, sure. So as I Boost Insider before Boosto was an AI and big data company. Right. So we have the social book, which is a, an influencer search engine. Mm -hmm. So we have over 350,000 social media influencers profile. Amazing. Over there that's right there on the homepage as well. Yeah, as yes, include you and me. Mm -hmm. And also uh, we have over right now 15,000 business users there are searching data all day long. So that's including IGG, including uh, Alibaba, including like that's Microsoft. Insane. That is crazy. Including those big companies, right? They want to know what's going on on social media. Who's talking about them? Mm -hmm. Who loves them and who hates them? And also how about their competitors? For example, if Pepsi, they want to know what Coca-Cola is doing. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola also want to know what Pepsi Cola is doing. So that's what people use in social book. So that's easier when we are a to be mm -hmm. type of business. Exactly. Why? It's yeah. All about influencer marketing. It's all about yeah. evolving that and taking it to the next level and the thought process that goes behind it from both the influencer and the audience. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And also for content creators, we also want to know what type of content our followers really like mm -hmm. and what we do something that we can gather more fans, mm -hmm. really support us. What we do is wrong that people just say, oh, this is something and we always want to have a good support from the people are watching our content. We want to make the Absolutely. best content out there to help people out, right? So Absolutely. social book also, we do have content creators out there. They are using the data to help their channel to grow. Big time. And there's a lot of good channels too out there today. Uh, there's a lot of people doing some big, big things, news channels, whatever you're looking for, trading, margin trading, so on and so forth, just market trends, whatever you're looking for, it's out there. And what's interesting to me is that not only have you done the demand and supply side of business, you've also done the content creating. You've also done being out there on the field and trying to advertise things, or you've done uh, making content, making good content for viewers and being able to provide that knowledge to your audience and also running a company all together. Oh. So the whole experience, that whole environment tied together must have taught you a lot in the business. <laughs> right, right. So that will be yeah, that's definitely the support of the whole team mm -hmm. and everybody Big together. Time. Time. Yeah, we cannot do anything just by ourselves alone. We mm -hmm. need a team. So, I mean, to be a CEO is really three things CEO need to do. Mm -hmm. One is looking for funding. <laughs> that's the most important part. <laughs> that's we the need. number one. That's the number <laughs> one thing that you guys are always working for. Exactly. Yeah. The but second also one is putting together for a good team. Yeah, also, yes, that's a team. So, talents pool. Always looking for the best people to join us and always. Uh, how how we how can we have those people working with us happy and stay mm -hmm. with us the best mm -hmm. I'm not sure is the best people but definitely the right people who have the same vision passion just like Absolutely. our Absolutely. everybody so this is very important that building. Absolutely, yeah. it's very important to have uh, also the direction. Team. The last one will be 
yeah, the last one will be the direction. So direction is always that direction, never changed. And we want to make everybody's life much easier. And we can we want to contribute to the community. And something from social media, something from blockchain, we know that's a goal. That's something we're working on. Definitely Absolutely. new technology can change everybody's life a little bit better and better mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, being a person that's been in the field that's had startups, What's the mm -hmm. one piece of advice that you'd give to someone out there that's trying to start a startup, that's coming out with a new idea? We've seen things with Kickstarter. We've seen so many different things. What's one piece of advice that you would give to someone that's new as a newbie and is trying to get out there? Oh, my God. Just get out. Get out and do it. <laughs> exactly. Just do it. Exactly. Seriously, yeah. That I've seen really a lot of people say, I thing. want to do it. But yeah, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, people say, you know, I kind of want to test something first. No, I would say just jump in both feet. Take a stab at it. Give it your best shot. If it doesn't yeah. work out, you got to go for something else. It's, do something different. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do something different. I, I've experienced that as well. I've tried many, many different things. I'm sales, so on and so forth. And eventually something sticks. And being an influencer and being able to provide the knowledge, the experiences that I've had in crypto, in the crypto world, is very exciting to me and actually bringing that to the other people and being able to share that knowledge with people. So very, very exciting for me. And guys, I have some big, big news. I am going to be traveling to San Francisco to hang out with Heidi and the team and be able to actually go to these huge, huge events that they're holding. It's going to be a surprise. I'm going to be putting a lot of nice videos up for you guys covering some of these big, big events that's happening in San Francisco. And it's going to be just a very, very good time. Thank you guys for actually inviting me out there. I'm super, super excited and I cannot wait to get yeah, some I'm good content on the channel. Thank you so much. But what's going on? If you have any other news, like any big news, of what's coming up with the company what's coming up with technology your brand what is going on if you have any news feel free to give it on the channel right now sure sure so we're having an ico coming which will be after the party mm -hmm. so after the conference and uh, that will be september 19th september. that will be our ico date mm -hmm. but when daniel when you talk about the conference I, I we think it's really important so we have the block world we do have the litecoin summit yes and we do have the youtuber retreat is coming so that will include the best youtubers out there who are in the crypto industry who are in the uh, blockchain industry it's going to be huge guys i've already you know got in contact with a few of the guys that are going i've talked to some of the big big youtubers and it's going to be a good time we're all going to be there we're going to be at blockword we're going to be at the litecoin summit we're going to be at the retreat and you guys are going to be able to see some good content going back oh, there damn. so I cannot wait to Cannot to see that. wait. Cannot yeah. wait for all that. Yeah, but yeah. Very exciting. The ICO guys is happening September nineteenth. And I want to ask you, you know, just before we close off, let's ask let's talk about the ICO a little bit. Cause I know for people that want to invest, um, mm -hmm. what's some of the ICO information that you can provide me with, whether it's, you know, total supply, whether it's pricing, different stages, how long mm -hmm. it's gonna run, and where do you see the potential of the token within a year from now? Oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> so right now, every information is on Boosto.io, and mm -hmm. right now the whitelist is open. And after our whitelist, we will have a um, private a, pr a presale over mm -hmm. there. We'll have some bonus before our, our real ICO. Yep. So our ICO, uh, the supply, we will have one billion of um, Boosto token. Mm -hmm. So one is there. So we pack to Ethereum right now. Even mm -hmm. like Ethereum is super super low right now. Super cheap, we guys. <laughs> Get your Ethereum. Get your Ethereum on sale. I know. So one Ethereum equal to uh, a little bit more than 14,000 mm -hmm. of Boosto token. Mm -hmm. So we want people to have the Boosto token so they can use the token to use uh, in all the dApps mm -hmm. in the Boost store. Mm -hmm. So that's where people can use the token for. Let me ask you something. What kind mm -hmm. of dApp would you have, actually, oh, if you have <laughs> yeah. your own dApp? Yeah, we'll talk about that too. So like, I know a lot of content creators love to give out um, tokens to the followers. Yeah, yeah. And we got approached by a lot of projects. They want to give us tokens so we can give to our followers, yeah. our fans. Yeah. So that's a depth I want. I want to make it all transparency. I know a bunch that's of people cool. are doing this online that's already. Cool. But it's really hard, right? So every people are comments over there and you have to pick one. There's some picker and out there we can also use. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. I've done that many, many times on the channel. We've ran a whole bunch of giveaways, Bitcoin, Litecoin, you name it, tokens, millions of tokens we've given away on the channel. We've used uh -huh. the comment randomizer. We've used yep. different methods. But you know what? I never thought about that. I've never thought about yeah. that app. But that is a very, very cool idea. See, this is the problem with me. 
I can't, okay, yeah. I can't focus on one idea. I have so many different ideas. So when you <laughs> ask me, what's one thing you want to do? It puts me on the spot and I just like freeze. <laughs> so okay, let's see. People out there, they're developers. They want to build this dApp for just jumping. We do have the tools free to use so you can use Uso to build that dApp. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, and I also want that too. So somebody that, wants to build that for me <laughs> as well. So I would love to have that. Now talking about the token. What's, mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the utility of the token when it comes to being released and being on the exchange? Are you guys going on external exchanges? What is happening with that? What are the future plans? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we are also talking with a bunch of exchanges out there. Yeah. And so we want to, uh, after our, our ICO, so mm -hmm. people can get to the tokens and we can trade our tokens on different exchanges. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, what's the price of the token at ICO? Hmm. So one Ethereum equal to 14,000. 14, that's right. Yep. I asked you that before. Now, wondering a lot of these tokens today, fluctuations with Ethereum and Bitcoin does really affect the price of the token. Is this going to be something that we're going to see with your token? Is the price of Ethereum, is the price of Bitcoin going to affect where we're going to be seeing yours? I think that's a matter of fact. Everybody right now in the crypto space, we will be influenced by that. Absolutely. We've seen yeah, we've all seen the some, projects. We've seen some projects taking huge, huge hits. And, oh, yeah. you know, guys, what you need to do is hodl. Hodl, hodl. I'm a big fan of hodling and just holding <laughs> on to the bags and waiting to see what's going to happen in the future because there's some big, big things that's going to be coming in the crypto world. And I cannot wait Definitely. to see it. I cannot wait to see how your platform is going to be running. Don't forget, guys, all the links will be in the description. I'll have Heidi's channel. I'll have the links to the ICO, the white paper, all of the good stuff. And cool. Thank we'll you so see much, you Daniel. in San Francisco. Thank you for getting onto the, onto the channel and actually giving us your time today. Very exciting. I cannot wait to release this to the channel and have everyone see it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in San Francisco. See you. See you soon. See you soon. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.